didn't get to bed until half past four this morning and there was a bet taken on as they had been doing that can-can for seven minutes last night uh, at a cabaret down in St Albans when they came to the studio this morning everybody said you'll never do it again and they said oh yes we will uh, but they have now gone off on their hands and knees <laughs> uh, now, uh, somewhere quietly but that is quite true and of course the boys I might tell you didn't get home till five o'clock this morning Oh, we're and, uh, just going to do the can-can now ourselves. Yes, yes I'd yes. love to see you doing the can-can. Well, I'd love to see me doing the can-can. And, uh, <laughs> You'd love to see me doing the can-can. You will we're do it. Love One day, we will let you do the can-can. Yes, yes. Uh, I was kind of late, too. Someday I... soon. You never can tell. <laughs> Who knows? When I lose four or five ton, I suppose. You uh, <laughs> never can-can tell, I think. Oh, oh can-can. Uh, oh, I was sort of late, too. And when we got in the studio this morning, all our eyes were shut. And our producer, director, Mr. Reg Watson, His eyes were shut as well. Uh, yeah, he came out and he said, you are a fine lot, he said. Do you realize that today this show is being telerecorded for <laughs> pos <laughs> posterity? And we said, what's that? And he said, well, it's actually being filmed because there's a lot of people who can't see Lunchbox at lunchtime. And we decided today to take a film so that we can show all these happy people uh, what they've been missing. Well, now, we get round about a thousand letters a day for wedding anniversaries and round about a thousand for people with birthdays. So you can imagine that there's only a very few, a very small percentage can be mentioned. And so we would like to start off each section of anniversary calls and birthday calls with a little song which is dedicated to everyone with a wedding anniversary today so that they won't feel left out. And so it's the turn of Jerry today to sing, and I hope he's got his, yes, his eyes are wide open, and so Jerry today is going to sing a happy anniversary. A happy anniversary is what I wish for you, a day of reminiscing of happy times we knew. Waltz with me, darling, and dream for a while of the day when together we walk down the aisle. And our first anniversary calls today go to Leicester, to Rugby, and to Northampton. First of all, a 20th wedding anniversary of Mr. and Mrs. Glenn of 42 Albert Street, Syston, near Leicester. We'd like to wish you a very happy day. And then Mr. and Mrs. C. Gardner of 24 George Street, Stockton, near Rugby, your 35th today. And all of us here would like to join with your daughter Brenda, son-in-law John and grandson Barry in wishing you the happiest anniversary ever, your 35th. And then Mr. and Mrs. Miller, of 106 Park Drive, Kings Heath, Northampton, your 17th today, and son Michael sends you much love and all his good wishes for a happy day. And here is Dave, Dave Galbraith, 
to sing your choice of song, The Anniversary Waltz. to Nottinghamshire to say hello to some people, uh, 20th wedding anniversaries and also a third. The third wedding anniversary of Mr. and Mrs. Ernest Harris of 45 Church Street, Pinkston, Nottingham and many happy days on your third. Then our 20th, Mr. and Mrs. Kirk of 24 Fenwick Close, Broxtow Estate, Aspley, Nottingham and as much love from Minnie, Billy and Barry on your 20th. And we'd like you to join with some other people celebrating 20 years of married bliss today. Mr. and Mrs. Gascoigne of 33 Lindley's Lane, Kirkby in Ashfield. And it's, oh, it was also Mr. Gascoigne's birthday yesterday. So a happy day yesterday and a happy day today. And here for all of you is Eula, and she is singing all about a million stars above. <laughs> A million stars above were shining in the sky. My sweetheart fell in love, and so did I. We kept our rendezvous beneath the chestnut tree. I promised I'd be true, and so did he. We pressed our lips together. He held me oh so tight And now we share forever The magic of the night A million stars above Shone down to make us see The world was made for love And so were we Though full of heartache and sorrow is the road you travel alone forget your trouble tomorrow when you find the love of your own a million stars above shone down to make us see the world was made for love so the world was made for love, so were we. And that's all from our anniversary spot for today. Two very contrasted songs from Dave and from Eula. And I hope that if we didn't mention you, well, you took the song of your choice there and said, well, they're really singing it for me. Well, although uh, Eula was... Uh, 
sitting surrounded by stars all over the place. It's still daytime. It's still round about lunchtime. It's getting on for one o'clock, so let's have a look at the lunchbox clock and then our shopping list. Next Tuesday, delicious pancakes with Queen's Pancake Mixture. Remember, Queen. What do we find down at the end of memory lane today? But a letter from Mrs. N. E. Hobson of 39 Claremont Road, Langley, Hena in Derbyshire. And Mrs. Hobson uh, asks us a question in this letter. And that's just what her memory lane turns out to be today. A question, memory lane. May I make a suggestion? Indeed you may, Mrs. Hobson. For a question, memory lane. And so, uh, I think it's rather a good idea. I don't think we've ever done one of these. Dave's going to start us off by saying, Why do I love you? Why do I love you? Why do you love me? Why can there be two Happy as we can you see the why and wherefore I should be the one you care for? I'm a lucky boy, you are lucky too. All our dreams of joy seem to come true. Maybe that's because you love me. Maybe that's why I love you. I'm a lucky boy. You are lucky too. All our dreams of joy seem to come true. Maybe that's because you love me. Maybe that's why I love you. Who stole my heart? I know can never be true Seems as though I'll always be blue Who means my happiness Who would I answer yes to Well, you ought to guess Who? Who? No, no one, one but you, you. I love you, I tell you no lie, how deep is the ocean, how high is the sky, how many times a day do I think of you? How many roses are sprinkled with you? 
How far would I travel to be where you are? How far is a journey from here to a star? And if I ever lost you, how much would I cry? How deep is the ocean? How high is the sky? Well, did you get that hat? Where did you get that tile? Isn't it a jolly hat? It's just the proper style. I would like to have one just the same as that. Wherever I go, they shout hello. Where did you get that? That card. Who are you with last night? Out in the pale moonlight. Oh, it wasn't your brother, it wasn't your pa. Oh, 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 who were you with last night? Out in the pale moonlight. I'll tell your mother when you get home who you were with last night. It wasn't your father. Oh, 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 oh. Who were you with last night? Out in the pale moonlight. Oh, I'll tell your mother when you get home who you were with last night. Well, it was me actually and my two brothers. Well, there you are, you see. They managed to stand up again. I was wrong. They went to change. By the way, where did you get that <laughs> Well, I think it's jolly nice, actually. You know, the wardrobe's certainly come up with some nice bits and pieces. I think they've lost this one. I think it's dead in fashion. Oh, maybe I'm just caught a sight of myself. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes. Ah, well, that was our memory lane. Who, what, why... Uh, questions, memory lane, and I expect there's probably a question in a lot of your minds now, if you're still with us. What's the time? So let's have a look at the lunchbox clock and our commercials. I'm a designer of sweaters for Munro Spun. We have the reputation for the softness and fineness of our woolens. That's why we're so anxious that you keep your Monroe spun sweater soft and lovely. So we recommend Dreft for washing, because Dreft keeps woolen softer. We found that only Dreft washes so thoroughly, yet so safely. It's actually safer than the mildest soap flakes. No matted fibers or dulled colors for a sweater washed in Dreft. Wash after wash, it keeps its natural springy softness. So give your fine, soft Monroe spun sweater the care it deserves. Wash it in Dreft. Remember, Dreft keeps woolen softer. And uh, what's the time? I don't know. I didn't look, did you? No. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's birthday time, but you didn't. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. You're not, uh, you're not sitting on my hat, are you? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. <laughs> <coughs> Who was oh, what is the time? Um, the uh, time is, as Alan so neatly points out to me, birthday time. So let's all sing. Let's all. Let's all. All right. Fine. Birthday time. Birthday time. It only comes once a year. Oh, birthday time. Birthday time. It 
time may your whole day be filled with good cheer. Did that very nicely, I think. Very nice. Didn't we sound like that the last way we did it, but um, that was the way they wanted it done, wasn't it? Yes. And wish everyone with birthdays a very wish happy day. Wish everyone with a happy day. A happy, uh, happy day. day. With birthdays. With birthdays. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> I just wondered if I would have to ask you to leave, but... Um, we know when we're not wanted. <laughs> and it's birthday to... Huh? We don't have a house full us, we know. No, well, they take a hint very well, Jerry. Um, they've got to change, actually, Lionel and Alan, because they're singing the first birthday song. And they're going to sing it for Edward Clark of Nine Kipling Close Grantham in Lincolnshire. And Edward does much love from Mummy, from Daddy, and from Sister Dolores. Then John Taylor of 22 Bryanston Road, Solihull in Warwickshire. Uh, much love from your mother, father, and a special message from Greedy the Labrador. And then another birthday boy, Stephen Weaver of 8 Abbey Road, Narborough in Leicester. Now, Stephen, there's much love from Auntie Daisy, Auntie Iris, Auntie Edna, and of course, not forgetting Nanny Weaver and Nanny Harrison. And here for you three birthday boys is Alan and Lionel, and they're singing something that I hope will never be true of you, that you'll never have to sing this, because they say, bye bye, love. <laughs> Bye bye love, bye bye happiness, hello loneliness, I think I'm gonna cry. Bye bye love, bye bye sweet caress, hello emptiness, I feel that I could die. Bye bye my love, bye bye there goes my baby. With someone new He sure looks happy I sure am blue She was my baby Till he stepped in Goodbye to romance That might have been Oh, bye-bye now Bye-bye happiness Hello loneliness I think I'm gonna cry Bye-bye, love. Bye-bye, sweet caress. Hello, emptiness. I feel that I could die. Bye-bye, my love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, my love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, my love. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Well, they, they were very late, you know, last night. <clears throat> Hello to Kay Jackson of Nine Smithy Close, Glapton Estate, Nottingham. Love from your parents, from Brother Peter and Grandma. Happy day, Kay. Then Janet Leslie Broughton of 26 Starbank Road, Small Heath, right here in Birmingham. Love from Mummy, Daddy and Nan. And then Maureen Cooper of 17 Holland Park Gardens. And it's also uh, Maureen's brother Stanley's birthday today. And he lives at 20 Brook Lane, Newcastle under Lyme, Staffordshire. And there's love to you both from your mother. So a happy day, uh, Stanley and Maureen, Janet and Kay. And here to help you celebrate even more is a very gay song from Dave and Eula. And they're singing one of the great Hoagie Carmichael songs, Old Buttermilk Sky. Oh, buttermilk sky, I'm keeping my eye well on you. What's the good word tonight? Are you gonna be mellow and bright? Oh, buttermilk sky, can't you see my little donkey and me? Happy as a Christmas tree, heading for the one I love. I'm gonna ask him the question, the question. Do you, darling, do you do? It'll be easy, so easy, if I can only bank on you. Oh, bottom of the sky, I'm telling you why now. 
now you know Keep it in mind tonight Keep brushing those clouds in sight Oh, buttermilk sky Don't you feel me when I meet you most Hang the mood above my hitching post Ditch me to the one I love Now I'm gonna pop in the question, the question. Oh, do you, darling, do you do? Why, it'll be easy, so easy, if I can only bank on you. Oh, buttermilk sky, I'm telling you why. Now you know, keep it in mind tonight. Keep a brush in those clouds from sight. Oh, buttermilk sky, don't you feel me when I'm needing you most? Hang the moon above the hitching post, hitch me to the one I love. You can if you try. You can if you try. Don't tell me no lie. Don't tell me no lie. Will you be mellow and bright tonight? Oh, buttermilk sky. And now we have a very long message for Timothy Alexander Darlington of 98 Copes Way, Chatterston, near Derby. Now, Timothy, there's love from your parents, from Grandma and Granddad Smith from Chatterston, from Grandma and Granddad Smith from Etwall, Auntie Margaret and Uncle Frank, and all the rest of the family. Must be an enormous family. Then Douglas Hayes of 24 Bradfield Close, off Gwendolyn Road, Leicester, Again, love from Mummy, Daddy, John, and Nigel. Then Pamela Harris of 48 Main Street, Stapen Hill, Burton-on-Trent has a birthday today. And Pamela, there's much love from your mother, from your father, from Grandpa and Grandma Miller, Auntie Jenny, and also from Grandma at Hull. And then we turn the page to say hello to a lady who is very popular with theatre-goers over in Stratford and Avon. She is Mrs. Lewis of Wellsbourne Grove, Stratford-on-Avon, and there's much love from all your fellow workers at the Memorial Theatre Bar, and much love from all of us, too, who pay so many happy visits to that wonderful theatre over in Stratford-on-Avon, and always a bright smile from Mrs. Lewis. Last but not least, Derek Sadler of Sandfield Farm, Brown Hills, love from Mother and the family, and also Mary and Charles. Well now, Jerry and I are going to sing a number that you've probably heard us sing before, a uh, thing called Friendship. Well, we usually sing it at the organ, and as you know, we get a bit tired of sitting at the organ all the time, but sitting at the organ has got one great advantage, because you can sort of um, sneak a look at the music, you know? And it brings me to a point that when we do have to stand up and sing songs, as we're going to do today, you know, we're actually going to be able to get up and as we so often want to do, sing a song in a set. But it does lead you into difficulties, because if you don't know your lyrics very well, well, you're lost, you see. And that accounts for so many people sort of stand and they sing rather soulfully like this, and then suddenly you'll see them look down. And it's not for effect. They're, they're looking down at their words, you see, which they may have cupped in their hands. I'm getting some very black looks around the studio, because <laughs> there's some professional secrets coming out here. The popular term for them is idiot boards. And they're just that. They're boards for idiots, you see. And there, there is one. <laughs> not, no, not Emlyn Williams, who is holding the board, RM. He's nobody's idiot. He's a Welshman, you know. He's our Welsh expert that tells us all the Welsh words, how to pronounce them. But he, M, is usually the one who writes out the idiot boards, uh, because it's kind of difficult if you're standing quite a way away from any set where you can pin the words to well, you've got to have a board for idiots. But there are various kinds, as I've said before. Some people sort of hold them cupped in the hand like that, or they may be at your feet, or they may be a memory lane letter. pinned to a wall, something <laughs> like that. Uh, very frequently mine are on the back of the memory lane letters. I'll see you later. <laughs> but today, Jerry and I, we don't really know the words of this because we always kind of cheated a bit, you see, when we sing it at the organ, but we are going to give a demonstration of two people singing a song, both with an idiot board in front of them and sort of idiot script, I suppose you'd call it, nailed up to the wall at the back. And just one word in conclusion, don't think that we don't need them, because we do. So I'm just going over now to join Jerry 
to sing Friendship. <laughs> Well, I'm your bail. It's friendship, friendship, just a perfect friendship. When other friendships have been forget, ours will still be it. If you're ever up a tree, phone for me. And if you're ever down a well, ring my bell. If you've ever lost your teeth when you're out to dine, a bar of mine. Well, it's friendship, friendship, just a perfect friendship. When all the friendships have been for gate, ours will still be great. And if they ever cook your goose, just turn me loose. Well, if they ever I put a bullet through your brain, I'll complain. If friendship, friendship, just a perfect friendship, when all the friendships have been forgot, ours will still be. Good evening, friends. Well, that's the end of our birthdays, and now we come to the last instrumental. I'll do it, old man. No, I'll do it, old man. Oh, I'll, I'll do it, old man. man. No, I'll do it, old man. You thought I'd dash across and help you out of that, didn't you? She'll, She'll do, do it, old man. man. <laughs> As you know, on this uh, show, I'm always trying to catch the boys out, and they're always trying to catch me out. And never seems to come on very well. <laughs> Well, there you are. That was an absolutely genuine reproduction of two people who don't know their lyrics on television. And, um, Which wasn't very hard for you two to do, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might say here that uh, the boys, as you saw, are perfect in answers. They also play their instruments beautifully. They sing. They dance. They're so versatile. I wouldn't say they were big-headed, really, but when they were over in Coventry a little while ago, they had to be rescued, you know, by the police from the crowds that, you know, came after them. Went down to St Albans last night, as I've told you. Wonder they ever got back. The police had to come out and rescue the crowds from us last night. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to Nottingham next week. I wonder what's going to happen at Nottingham. A duel, I suppose. Who would care to hazard a guess? <laughs> the lunchbox gang versus the rest of the gang. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we, I think, can count on Robin Hood's help, possibly, up in Nottingham. But uh, they're nice boys, you know. But they do love to come and do a bit of announcing. One of these days, I'm going to come over and play the drums. With pleasure. Today? Yes, do I this do. number, if you like. <laughs> Please do this number, if you like. No, Lionel. If you don't get home till five o'clock in the morning, you must take the consequences. And I know what a noisy number this is. So close Good your luck. ears for Airmail Special.
Okay, man, we're uh, taking you in on a PGS. Uh, four ten. I mean oh, ten. ten ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that was very nicely played, Lionel. Thank and you. you boys can all go now and lie down until the Carol Levitt show tonight. At what time is it? Ten o'clock? Oh, well, that oh, gives you plenty of time. Wait a minute, I'll find the paper. Where is it? Let's have a look. Uh, I'd have it turned well, uh, at the right time. No, 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 10 o'clock, you were right first time. 10 o'clock, yes, there you are. Pick of his discoveries, accompanied by Jerry Allen and the TV trio. I'm going over to Coventry tonight, looking forward to it very much indeed, because I'm going over to meet a lot of our friends who are the radio dealers and television uh, dealers, and also, of course, meeting that uh, very great personality who is very popular not only in her own city of Coventry, but all through the Midlands. Alderman Pearl Hyde, the Lord Mayor of Coventry, and one of our dearest friends, I think. Yes, we May I give uh, the Lord Mayor your good wishes? Oh, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I can go, indeed. As I know, she'll send hers right back to you. I'm looking forward very much to... Uh, you're going to send the Lord Who was that there? Who was that there? You were going to... That was you, weren't you? Wouldn't you like there? to say a few words to... to oh, the, it's me. Our oh, friend... <laughs> 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 I say, that's clever, isn't it? And blown the camera right off the air, of course. Yeah, I mean, exactly. but it's... Think nothing of it. Uh, we are closing down now. ATV is closing down now. And a very good thing, too, I'm sure you'll all be saying. <laughs> Until 2.43, when the schools come back again with producing Macbeth. And this is episode number four, Night's Black Agents. Oh, foul pest! Oh, no, <laughs> our foul Spot has nothing to do with foul pest. That's the farming program. They have that on Tuesdays about foul pest. I'm still looking for my sheep and alley, you see. Really? Thank God. And of course, we are looking forward very much to seeing you again tomorrow when we have another open house. And if you've got a ticket and you're coming along, well, we're looking forward to seeing you. And you know what you'll hear at quarter to one tomorrow? Amongst a lot of cheering people. Go on, tell and, them what they're uh, tomorrow at quarter to one. Go on. You'll never get No, 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 go on, Tom. No, they can. No, no, be fair. They can, no, no, no. I'll they coach can, you a bit more. Yeah, they can get to themselves. Well, go on, go on, quick. Well, you know what they'll be hearing. What? Hedgehopper. Right. One, two, three, four. <laughs>